when you are combining gliptin and SGLT2 inhibitors, the risk of genital infection has been shown to be lower. And one of the reasons here is that, you know, possibly one, the glucagon suppression is there. So the uh, glucosuria uh, is uh, less, lesser. Other thing is that BPP4 is also the same enzyme as CD26 and is involved in the immune regulation. And BPP4 inhibitors actually they enhance the immune function to some extent. Uh, when you combine BPP4 inhibitors with SGLT2 inhibitors, the risk of uh, genital urinary tract infections are lower. And we also know now we have enough evidence that there is a trial which compares uh, the addition of uh, DPP4 inhibitor to SGLT2 inhibitor in a sequential manner or SGLT2 inhibitor to DPP4 in a sequential manner versus both given together. And we have seen that when DPP4 inhibitor, linagliptin and apagliflozin um, are combined and given together simultaneous or co-administered, the risk of genital urinary tract infection is lower compared to sequential administration. Phenagliptin is safe, has, is renal safe, has improved cardiovascular outcome and decreases genital urinary tract infection. I think in clinical practice, this is very, very relevant. And that is why fixed dose pill or a combination therapy simultaneously administered is very important. Uncontrolled diabetes, uh, then that is a risk factor for so such patients. Usually, will have a history of uh, uh, multiple urinary tract infections uh, before initiating on uh, any of linagliptin or dapagliflozin uh, itself. So, such patients, uh, uh, it, 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 it may not be the absolute contraindication. Uh, uh, so, such patients will be benefited by a good glycemic control uh, that can be offered by linagliptin and the uh, uh, kidney protection by dapagliflozin. But uh, other type of urinary tract infections that develop after initiating uh, AGLT2 inhibitors that uh, uh, that is very well described uh, uh, adverse effect of uh, uh, AGLT2 inhibitors and apagliflozin. So uh, they also uh, needs to be put uh, uh, needs to be considered in the context of the severity of such infections. So isolated cystitis uh, without uh, upper urinary tract involvement like pyelonephritis. That again it will not be a contraindication because given the overwhelming uh, benefit of these agents uh, in protecting heart and kidneys, uh, uh, one cannot rule out or one cannot exclude the possibility uh, uh, of these agents in uh, such patients. So only when it's uh, recurrent, recurrent by definition is uh, more than three or four episodes in a year, or any serious urinary tract infection like urosepsis, upper, upper urinary tract involvement. In such patients, uh, of course, one would be uh, skeptical about uh, initiating. And in the previous situations with careful monitoring, definitely it can be. And uh, as I said earlier, uncontrolled diabetes being one of the risk factors, uh, DP4 inhibitors, if they are put in and HPA1C uh, is targeted to the optimum, uh, such risk will definitely be minimized.